What's up scrappy peeps? It's Adele from Inky Quill and we're up with the final video for Inky Quill for the year. Uh, it's been a big big year and so today I thought I would treat you peeps to an extra long DIY embellishments video uh, using some Christmas goodies because I don't know about you but every year I just have this schmozzle puzzle that's that's a technical term here a schmozzle puzzle uh, of random bits and pieces I've got sticker sheets I've got ephemera that's fallen out of packs uh, there's sticker sheets with not much left on them there's some of my patreon printables there's all sorts there's paper strips um, and bits and bobs and it really really annoys me to have to store all of this again for another year and so today I'm going to show you a way how you can get a collection of schmozzle puzzle bits and turn them into something that's actually usable and not something that you put in a container and ignore because I know that I'm not the only one that has a little box of embellishments from maybe their packets that you were going to use and then you didn't use those bits so you just push them to the side or they're bits that have fallen out or you were given them uh, but everyone has a collection of some sort of random ephemera and this is a fabulous way to to use them up uh, so this is a video I have done a similar one over on patreon before so if you're interested in this kind of stuff there's I think we're up to like 30 DIY embellishment videos now over the years and I did one last year where I did giant ephemera um, clusters and that was really good fun because I don't know like this one that was one of them uh, I don't know about you but I sometimes when I scrap Christmas especially during like through pocket pages I end up with some four by six pockets that are just empty and I don't really want to journal a lot I don't want to have to fuss around for bits and bobs and making some giant ephemera pieces was the perfect thing to just plonk on my card into my pocket um, so they've been really handy I've also been working I've started a December daily for this year which is because uh, if you've been an OG inklet for a while I've tried twice I tried the first one I did, I don't know if I was filming on YouTube at the time. I might have been, but it would be way back in the day. It was a little six by eight album. And I got, I think I got about halfway through and it happens every time um, because of just the December rush. And at that point I was teaching as well. So it was even more rushed because school reports were due and the end of year and packing out the classroom and all of that. Um, so that never got finished and then I tried again in 20 um, I tried in 2015 I think which was the first year that I did traditional scrapbooking layouts and that's in a 9 by 12 which is a, a big a big old album uh, and I never finished that one either who knows one day I might go back and try and potter around and at least make them presentable so that they don't have bits and pieces falling out of them um, but this year I'm doing something completely different so I have made uh, this new style of journal I call it my muckabout journal and it's like a junk journal uh, and I've got a muckabout journal that I use for kind of like a commonplace book um, that I write things in and then I've got a garden muckabout journal which I record my gardening processes and progress uh, and now I've made a Christmas one which is a big 9 by 12 ish uh, album and I'm up to date at the time of recording this voiceover I'm pre-recording this because the day that this is going up we might be coming home from camping um, so yes so that's I've pre-recorded a few videos to get us through the festive period while we're away uh, but the December daily is up to there is a bird outside my window I don't know if you can hear that but it sounds like it's in pain it's not it's the normal call of it but it's not a pleasant call you know how some birds have like a nice tweet and you're like oh bird tweet that's nice this one's not it's a really <laughs> it's a really defined unique call anyway uh, I got I oh, got on a tangent already but yes my December daily I am up to date I'm up to day 15 uh, which is where I'm up to right now 
and I am loving it because I feel like it's my perfect hybrid between scrapbooking and journaling. It's like both connected together. Um, so if you're interested in that, I've filmed like all the process videos are over um, on Patreon if that's your type of jam. Um, but these embellishments will be fantastic to use in there because I can just pick them up, plonk them in and get caught up quickly uh, because I am hoping to take <laughs> I'm hoping to take my December daily camping uh, however something that I haven't worked out quite yet is how I'm going to print photos for said December daily because I don't really want to take George the printer because he's freaking giant and we're very short of space in our two cars that we take because we can't fit everything in one car we have to take two uh, so we'll see how that goes but if I don't end up taking it camping with me it will be a great way to get caught up once I get back uh, because a lot of these embellishments that I'll be using are already made oh now it's thundering so many noises today it's been a really strange day today the sky it's hot um i think it's 30 something it might be like 32 33 but the sky is really foggy and eerie and brown it's not there's no bushfires at the moment uh, but it just looks very ominous so i think we're in for a doozy of a storm later we'll see how we go uh so yeah Basically, with all of these little embellies, what I'm doing is this is the most awkward way to cut something in my life. I don't know why I cut it like that. Have you guys seen the video of, uh, what's her name, Kendall Jenner cutting the cucumber? I felt like that when I was cutting the little holes in this ticket. And I knew in my head that it was the wrong way to cut it. But I couldn't figure out how to do it with the camera and to get it so that the camera could see me cutting. <laughs> Oh, it was a bit of a, it was a bit of a funny, funny day, this one to, um, yeah, to try and make it look normal. But alas, that's what you get here on Iggy Quill. Things done in a slightly unique way a lot of the time, especially when it comes to cutting and measuring things. Uh, so these are some little tiny word strips from my inky collection from last year um, my printable downloads and so i'm just popping that on top and i feel like it really makes the red pop and then everything needs all of the gold stars uh, all of them everywhere so on the weekend i actually sat down i had some spare time and i made about i don't know how many i made there'd be at least 50 maybe more um, more of these little clusters that are all Christmassy themed so I've used up all of my little packets of ephemera that I had lying around everywhere except I have kept some of it that is labels or simple words that I think I might want to stick on top of photos uh, anything wintry I've saved to put with my normal stash because of course we're in we're in hot summer here so I don't need the bundle up and the you know warm wishes like I know warm wishes is another phrase but usually it's paired with beanies and mittens and things uh, so I've saved those bits to put in my stash but all of the other embellishments um, I've pretty much used up which is a really good feeling because I feel like you know Christmas isn't my favorite time of year and uh, I struggle with it quite a lot and so I feel like when it comes to Christmas documenting if there's any way to make it easier for me to get into it and um, anything that can help unblock any roadblocks that I have to wanting to do it, uh, that's the key. So if you have a project that you're struggling with, so it could be perhaps a travel album that you've started and it's just fizzled out or catching up on Project Life, um, or if you're a daily journaler and you're a bit behind, if there's anything that you feel like you need to have a bit of a, a, a bit of a oomph to finish, make yourself a big collection of DIY embellishments. They don't have to be Christmas themed, of course, um, but grab a couple of ephemera packs that work with whatever you're doing. So if you're doing just everyday project life catch up, grab just a, any old pack of ephemera that has a nice collection of 
everyday phrases you know it could be food stuff or adventure stuff or just loving everything type ephemera <laughs> and see how you can layer them together uh, and make some of these embellies because it really really helps and I find that this is a major help uh, when I'm in a funk and I need help getting unfunked <laughs> that's not a word um, but just going off the last video that I posted on here um, yeah I just feel like it's another another strategy to help get the crafty mojo back so now oh now these jingle bells were stuck to this paper and I did have to take them off uh, and I ripped it but that's okay because I use them for something uh, so here I'm just doing a dodgy star you know nothing like a bit of a dodgy star to uh, embellish something with I love a good wonky <laughs> wonky edged star and if you do a doodly border it's a perfect way to disguise your wonkiness while highlighting you know the the wonkiness of the actual star without alluding to how crooked your pen lines are because your hands are shaking and you can't feel your fingers like me right now <laughs> um, I really struggle I have constant pins and needles and uh, part numbness in my pinky and my ring finger on both hands and so uh, making DIY embellishments can sometimes be a bit tricky for me um, just because of all of the the finger work and so I, I love a doodly border because it helps cover that up now this one this was a little wood veneer and it had I think it said traditions but it was printed in white and so you couldn't you could barely see it uh, so I just turned it over and used it almost like a, I would a piece of paper and just layered that little woohoo from one of my printable sheets on top added some little gold glittery stars and Bob's your uncle for that one so I hope if you have celebrated some sort of festivity at the end of this year I know there's a lot going on um, that you had a good one and if you've managed to get a bit of a break if you work um, that you've had a bit of a relaxing break and had some me time um, we are going camping this year which is something new we've never done before and the kids are so excited um, and they're super keen for Santa to come and find us at camping and so by the time you see that this of course that's already happened uh, but yeah we're having a bit of a different Christmas which is I think what prompted me to really have a go at doing a December daily this year because it is you know not the norm for us uh, usually we do last year we did three Christmases in three different days which was nice we spread it out um, but a lot of time we do several Christmas festivities in one day and so I thought that it would be nice this year to to document something different uh, so yeah there'll be some videos of that to come uh, but I I would love to know actually what has been your favorite crafty thing that you've done this year and what's a crafty goal that you've got for next year uh, so I would say my favorite crafty thing I was chatting about this on patreon this week I think it was in that voiceover uh, I think my favorite thing this year has been my muck about journals particularly this garden one that I've got um, and the full yeah like I said the full processes of making it and working in it are over there uh, but it has been just oh, I think I've really found my sweet spot of marrying photos and almost like a chronological project life type uh, as like aspect of scrapbooking with journaling and paint and having tip-ins and pockets and flippity flaps and all the things and so that's probably been my favorite project for the year also my couch scrapping kit that has been a lifesaver with getting some caught up I'm still in May 2022 but we're getting there um, I've got I'm going to do a new kit in January and do the flip through of the old one um, but yeah we've got a new kit coming and so they're probably my two favorite things that I've done this year and then something I'm hoping to do next year I'm hoping to be a bit more into planners as well uh, I've got a couple of planners that I I feel like if I have two different planners one for inky and one for life 
that will be better because I've tried in the past to combine them into one and it's just too it's just too much it's too much <laughs> uh, and so I want to that's a goal for me uh, and I also would like there's a couple of new journals that I've started or that I want to start um, but yeah I have this crazy idea of of doing 2025 in a muck about journal style of scrapbooking journaling so we'll see if I can get caught up <laughs> I say this every year if I can get caught up with 2022 and 2023 scrapping and 2024 by the end of 2024 I might change my scrappy process a little bit I'll still do traditional scrapbooking of course but yeah we'll see we'll see what happens you'll have to have to stay tuned because I don't even know what's going to happen <laughs> it all depends how the year goes this year has been a doozy with all sorts of things going on so uh yeah let's hope 2024 is just it's just a nice calm one for everyone uh this in belly ended up being one of my favorites and I think it's because it's quite long it's quite a a different shape to uh, a lot of the others and I really like the little paper strip down the bottom the uh, manufacturing strip and so I'm adding some little gold hearts with my glue and I also added a little um, it's not a puffy it's like a a glossy puffy uh, little tree I think they're from doodlebug I think I am working with not just gold glittery hearts but any mixed media scraps that I've been using in videos lately and that have just been lying on my desk I've been punching those into little stars as well which has been nice Norse difference unusual to use still felt like it needed something oh so we're outlining um, now it's always harder to outline after you stick your doodly bits on so if you know you want to outline do it first not like me <laughs> uh, but I did feel like it needed a pop of white it, it needed something to just make it stand out a little bit more and then you can never go wrong with some little dotty dots I've been very into the little doodly bits lately so they're going on absolutely everything uh, so we have got I'll tell you what's ahead for January so January Arch is home because it's school holidays here in Australia. We have from mid-December to the end of January off. Uh, so he is at home with me. So my inky uh, lot, home life will be a bit different. Um, but we are, we are rearranging the house. And if you're an OG Mr. and Mrs. Rad watcher, you'll know that we rearrange the house a lot. <laughs> Um, but we are combining Aaron's office and my craft room so I will be filming that whole process as I've done in the past before with all the craft room reorganizings and the behind the scenes reorganizing will be filmed for Patreon there'll be several parts of that uh, there's already been a couple of those this year uh, and then I'll do a, a final craft room tour for YouTube once it's all done but that will probably be the biggest crafty project for January I think um, yeah it's going to be hard it's going to be a lot but but we will persevere uh, the reason why we're doing it is because the kids currently share a room and they love sharing a room but we've noticed they have very opposite uh, sleeping habits at the moment they're, they're going through a bit of a stage where Violet wakes up during the night and then she wants to sleep in and Archie sleeps through but then gets woken up super early and uh he's tired so we're going to trial two rooms for a little bit we haven't told violet yet i don't think she's going to be very happy about it uh, but yeah we'll see how we go so for this one this was actually this journey postcard was from a crepe paper ephemera pack and i didn't really like the feel of it the the paper isn't like usual ephemera it's kind of thick and glossy uh, it's a bit yeah I wasn't a huge fan so I thought uh, it's the type of thing that I will avoid using uh, unless it's part of a DIY embellishment and so I put a little wood veneer on there and then the happy holidays is actually from the packaging of a pink fresh ephemera pack and I'm also sticking down another one of these little doodlebug, doodlebug trees 
Uh, I'm trying to use up as many little bits and bobs as I can just because I know that what probably when it I haven't bought any new Christmas stuff for this year I don't think I bought that paper pad from Spotlight um, but I think everything else I had last year I think I'm pretty sure and so next year it will probably be time to replenish with some new collections if there's any well there'll, of course there'll be new Christmas stuff out but um by using things and making DIY embellishments now that I'm more likely to use, it kind of gives me the wiggle room to buy a new ephemera pack next next year. Uh, this was a label from one of my past collections and I'm sticking that down with some red. We are getting some good thunder right now. Yeah, this is going to be a huge thunderstorm. One thing I'm not prepared for are blackouts. We realized the other day we had um, 39 degree temperatures and when it gets really hot in my area, everyone puts on their air conditioning. We don't have air conditioning where we live, uh, so we just have fans, but the amount of people using the electricity shorts the power grid and so we had the suburbs all around me and my suburb uh, blacked out for I think it was about six hours and when you're at 39 degrees and blacked out it's it's uncomfortable <laughs> it's very uncomfortable uh, and I realized we don't have any like I have one candle on the dining table but that's just like a you know pretty candle uh, but I don't have like an emergency stash where we have torches and candles. So that opened up my eyes for that. And this thunderstorm is kind of giving that ominous vibe that possibly that might happen today as well. We'll see how we go. Last time we headed to the shops for dinner because it was just too hot. We couldn't, we couldn't be at home. The, the kids and Aaron and I were just, we were too ex uncomfortable just in the, the sticky heat. The humidity was so hot. Um, but yeah, ooh, can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. It probably just sounds like, like I can hear a thunderstorm in my brain, but I'm not. I promise there's one. Uh, so now we're on to the next one using this tiny little label. And I'm sticking that down up the top here. I was just kind of going with the flow. I didn't plan any of these out. And I think that's part of the the fun of making these embellishments is not to overthink them too much. Um, so what I try to do is I try to have a pile of ephemera in one little spot. I try to have a pile of paper scraps that I'm happy to cut up into different shapes or maybe some of them might already be cut up. If you wanted to pre-cut them, you could. Then I have a pile of stickers uh, and usually I put the sticker sheets that only have a couple of stickers left on the top of my pile so I'm more likely to use them up and then I'll have a pile of what I like to call extra bits so things like the puffy trees or um, puffy stickers or anything that's just a bit small and sprinkly and extra and then I also have a pile of little stars um, so all the things so this one I have decked the halls and is that an orange uh, orange is a Christmas thing I didn't realize that oranges were a Christmas thing uh, until I've watched a few homesteady videos because that is my current hyper focus and love on YouTube I'm watching all the homesteading videos side note if you are also into that who do you watch who do you love I love Roots and Refuge uh, Yellow Door Urban Homestead, uh, Three Rivers Homestead, there's so many that I watch but they're my, probably my top three at the moment. Uh, but I didn't realise that oranges were quite a festive thing until I saw a, several people making orange garlands for their, like to decorate with. Uh, so there you go, the more you know. <laughs> I think our Australian Christmases are quite different to some of those overseas. Uh, mainly a big reason is because of the seasonal difference. Um, so like, for example, actually in the comments, if you do share, if you do celebrate Christmas or if you celebrate another festive occasion at this time of year, what does your day look like? What do you do? 
Uh, so usually we have like a brekkie that has um, eggs and ham and croissants and fruit and mangoes. Got to have mangoes. Ooh, big thunder. Uh, and a, sometimes we'll have like a bit of a barbie. We'll do some sausages. Uh, and then for lunch, we have a hot lunch. So we usually do a traditional like a, a turkey roll or a chicken um, baked dinner for lunch baked lunch <laughs> and then for dinner we'll do the same thing um, and we have Christmas pudding and custard and ice cream for desserts and sometimes pavlova um, and the day usually surrounds with the uh, Aaron and Arch and his brothers playing some sort of sport outside depending on what equipment they got for Christmas like cricket basketball or soccer um, we often have a water fight so we'll get out the water pistols and or a slip and slide and slide around and cool off with that um, but yeah that's what our Christmas looks like this year we're probably spending Christmas at the beach having a nice little barbie on the beach have some snags and some cutlets because cutlets are Archie's favorite food which makes me laugh because he's a little boy and it's such a a ridiculous food for a little boy to to love as his favorite you would think it'd be like ice cream or like I don't know cookies or something nope cutlets cutlets are his favorite thing in the world uh, and so we'll probably have cutlets and cricket on the beach it's going to be it's going to be nice and sandy and hot <laughs> if I don't get sunburnt uh, but yeah let me know what your festive days look like um, in the comments below so for this one, I am using, these were some trees uh, that I made. I think it wasn't last year's printables, it might have been the year before. And these are the original ones that I still have. Um, and so I wanted to use them up um, as much as I could. And so I stuck the little joy tag underneath because it was kind of bothering me that the joy was sideways. Like, cause usually I would put the string of a tag at the top uh, and so I felt like I needed something on top of it to kind of make it look uh, sideways. Do you know what I mean? Make it look like it was meant to be that way. I also feel like that one needs a big gold star on top. So I might go back and cut out a giant gold star for the top of that tree. So now I am forever punching more tiny stars, always needing more tiny stars and this was one of my favorites this one uh so this ended up oh someone's calling me uh oh it's preschool uh oh all right crisis averted it's always a panic when preschool calls because you never it's usually not a good call like it's usually like oh she's sick or she's thrown up and you have to come get her um but poor little sausage just fell asleep um so they just wanted to ring and ask if it was okay that she had a that she had a nap because she's in the preschool room now so they don't nap uh, and so she found herself a quiet little corner and a little blanket and snuggled up and just had a schnooze and I said that was all good so hopefully she's all good they've checked her temperature and things and she's she's not sick she just is very tired today and see this is another reason why I think we need to change the rooms because she would definitely sleep in longer than Arch and I feel like she requires her body needs a different amount of sleep than Archie's very hyperactive energetic body does <laughs> Um, oh, clappy hands. I, was, um, I, I must have really loved that one at the time as well. Uh, so these were a, it was like a gift tag book that Crate Paper put out. And I didn't realize that it repeated. So it has, I think it has the same designs three times. And you can, you're meant to use it as gift tags. Um, I think this year, the year that they did those would have been last year. They also had a, a gift paper book which I have somewhere but I haven't used it yet uh, I, I bought it for scrapbooking reasons not for gift papery reasons uh, but I'm just I'm going with the flow and I'll probably use that for next year's ones actually I might use that because I, I have run into a bit of a hiccup. I think I started to talk about this, but then I got distracted by something. Uh, with my December daily, I am up to the 15th. And in the journal I've made, 
there's only two pages left and of course there's still a whole half a month to go so I am going to have to make another December daily muck about journal uh, so I'll, I'll probably film that uh, and do some more process over on Patreon for that but yes it's the wrapping paper I think will be perfect for the pages in there so this one, I think I made it with the intention of just using as many cold things as I could and saving it for when I'm documenting winter um, because, you know, it's not appropriate for now. Uh, so we, I'm up to May 2022 in my Project Life album and uh, our winter starts in June. So I'll soon be able to use this. So I'll just leave it somewhere handy dandy on my desk. Um, the birds are squawking, the thunder is happening, it's all going on. Those weird birds are back. I wonder what type of bird they are. But it sounds large. Where we live, we live near uh, quite a lot of bushland, and so we get quite a lot of interesting bird life, I've noticed. There's a lot of like giant um, king parrots and black cockatoos and birds that we didn't have when we lived like 10 minutes away, <laughs> like we didn't live far. Um, ooh, that, that, that's really going to thunder. Sorry, peeps, it's, we haven't had a thunderstorm like this for quite a while. And I've got five washing lines outside that I should probably bring in when this voiceover's done. Uh, but now we're onto this frame. Now this was from a large six by 12 pack of thickers that I had. And the frame is like an epoxy glossy and it it's one that's just going to hang in my stash if I don't purposely make it into an embellishment I'm not using it uh, and so I am just popping that down there and then when I actually use it on a page um, you know I could add some journaling on top of the brown little Christmas trees or I could just add it like this if I wanted to um, yeah it all depends um, the great thing about DIY embellishments is that you can make them with empty spaces if you're not sure of how you're going to use it and if you want to do journaling on it when you use it you can but if not you can just leave it and it's all good it's all good as well so adding lots and lots of little gold stars here and then this one is done all right not many to go now we're on to the final stretch um but i i'm really excited uh for next year i feel like at the end of december i do get like a bit of a like a oh, december's over thank goodness it's the end of year and i do have a bit more of a a motivational boost for january it's only when i get too overwhelmed by like february march that it goes down again <laughs> Um, but I think I've noticed that in myself now and I'm hoping that I can just take it slow and steady and continue that mojo uh, across the whole year. I've got big plans for the Inky June Marathon this year. Big, big plans. So that will be fun. Uh, yeah, that will be lots of fun. You'll have to wait for that one. Uh, but here, this little, the, this little moment is from a past printable set and I put two tags together, but I didn't like that there was two tag holes. And so I covered up the one with the bow on it. Usually bows aren't my jam, um, but I thought it went well with this red tag because they came from the same booklet. So of course they're going to go very well together. And I like the juxtaposition between a dashed border and a doodly border. But of course, I can't, I just cannot leave my tag holes nude without a tag twine in there. So I had to put that in there because, yeah, we can't have um, twineless tag holes. It just doesn't work. Oh, jazz hands. Very excited jazz hands. Uh, so I'd love to know if you enjoyed this video. Uh, like I said, I've got, I think there's like 30 or more DIY embellishment videos uh, that I've got on Patreon. If you're interested in seeing more of them, lots of different ones. Uh, I love these trees. They're my two favorite tree ones. But thank you so much for watching today, peeps. I hope you've had a merry, happy, jolly, restful, chillaxing end of the year. 
and we can start 2024 with lots of fun videos uh, coming ahead for you. Have an awesome week and I'll see you soon. Bye.